Hello. Today I'm going to talk about calculating half-life. This is part of the P4 topic of atomic structure and is following on from the activity video. So, as mentioned in the previous video, half-life is the time taken for half the number of nuclei in a radioactive sample to decay or for the activity of a radioactive sample to drop by half. Okay, so with relatively little information, you can calculate the half-life of a radioisotope. Um, just by observing how its count rate, its activity, drops over a certain period of time. And if you know the half-life of a particular radioisotope or a sample, then you can work out how long it will take for its its, ha its half-life to drop by a certain amount. So what we're going to do now is we're going to, we're going to work through a couple of example questions um, that you're likely to encounter at GCSE. The way to answer this sort of question is to work out how many half-lives must have occurred in those two hours as the count rate drops from 640 to 80. Once you know how many half-lives have gone on, you can simply divide the amount of time it took by the number of half-lives, and that will give you the length of one half-life. So just to run through that, if we, after the first half-life, the count rate would be divided by 2. So we would find in this case that it would be 320 counts per minute. So that's that's the first one. Then the 320 after a second half-life would also be divided by 2 and we would have a count rate of 160. After another half-life that count rate of 160 will have divided by 2 and we'll have a count rate of 80. So how many half-lives does it take to get from 640 counts per minute to 80 counts per minute? Well, that's one, two, three. So we know that two hours was, was three half-lives. So if we do our two hours, let's scrap the hours and turn that into minutes just for ease of use. So if we say our 120 minutes, our 120 minutes is divided by the number of half-lives that, that have occurred, which is 3. That will give us the length of one half-life. 120 divided by 3 should give you 40 minutes. So a single half-life is 40 minutes in length for this particular radioisotope. So, in this instance, we have a question asking for percentage reduction, which is simply saying, by what percentage has the count rate reduced? To know a percentage, you need to know your, your final number, your part. You need to divide it by the total, or in this case, our initial number of 640, and then times by 100 to get a percentage. So we need to know what the final number is. In other words, how what is the count rate after two half-lives? Well, very similar to the previous question, we can say that if it had an activity, sorry, not a count rate, an activity of 640 becquerels, then you divide that by 2, and we know that after one half-life, that will give us 320 becquerels. Then if it had a, uh, an activity of 320 becquerels, and again we divide that by 2, that means after our second half-life, we have an activity of 160 becquerels. So, we need to know how much is that reduced by. So we start with, started with the 640 becquerels, and we take away the 160 that, was, that remained at the end, and that would give us 480 becquerels difference. This is how much it reduced by. That's how much the activity reduced by. And then if I jump over here, I'm going to go to a different colour because this is starting to look very similar. 
um, we take the amount it ended up redu being reduced by, so 480, and we divide that by the amount that we started at. And then the last bit is simply to times that by 100, and it will give us a percentage. In this case, it's going to give us a percentage of 75%. So the count rate was reduced by 75% after two half-lives. I hope this has been helpful. If you have any questions, just pop and see me in school or leave a comment under the video. Goodbye.